Universal Login Manager, or ULM, is a MEEP application developed by NTWare for ImageRunner advanced devices that provides server-less simple user authentication. Authentication methods that can be configured are Image Login, Image Login with PIN code, Card Login, Card Login with PIN, or Username and Password. It can also be configured to authenticate against a customer's Active Directory. ULM can also work with the Access Management System, or AMS, of the Image Runner Advanced Devices, for granular control of access per user. ULM is also the default login application for NTWare's Uniflow products, such as Uniflow Online, Online Express, and On-Premise Uniflow. Users can easily migrate to a Uniflow solution, without wasting the initial investment in the card readers. There are three authentication modes with ULM. Local Authentication Mode, Domain Authentication Mode and Uniflow Server. Local Authentication Mode, an administrator can establish a user database on the device locally, and utilize it as an authentication provider. Domain Authentication Mode, utilizes an existing Active Directory on a Windows server as authentication provider. Uniflow Server, a Uniflow server can be selected as an authentication provider. Local Authentication Mode, allows users to authenticate against a local database on the device containing authentication information. This database can be exported, or imported via a web interface, and can be manually distributed to other devices. Local Authentication Mode, supports the following login types, and maximum number of users per login method. Image Login, or Image Login with PIN, up to 48 users. Proximity Card Login, or Proximity Card Login with PIN, up to 1000 users. Username and Password, up to 1000 users. There are two methods for installing ULM, and each will be demonstrated in this video. One method is to manually install the jar and license file through the RUI. This method can be used by all generations of ImageRunner advanced devices. The jar and license file is downloaded by the user before installation. The second method is to use an LAN number, to install the application from the control panel, or through the RUI, using the Content Delivery System, or CDS. The device will have to have internet access, as it will download the application components of jar and license file, then install the application. This video will also show how to uninstall ULM, if the customer does not want to use it anymore. Enter the search words of, NTWare, MEEP, and USA in your favorite search browser. USA is for the North American markets. Click on the link to go to the website. Scroll down the page to find the latest version of ULM for Generation 3 Imager on our advanced devices. ULM version 4 is for Gen 1, 2, and 3 devices. Click to expand the selection. At the time of the video, Version 4.16.3 is the latest version. ULM version 5 is for Gen 3 and newer devices. This includes the DX models. Click to expand the selection. The latest version at the time of the video is version 5.4.0. To download the file, right-click on the name and select Save Link As. Save the file to a folder. Scroll down the page, to find license access numbers. Locate the login manager. You will see different LANs for the different versions. Locate the LAN for version 5.4. Highlight the LAN and copy the number, using Control c Open Notepad, and paste the LAN in Notepad. Save the file. It will be used later. Before installing ULM, you will need to make sure that the image runner advanced device has a system manager ID and password, or else, you will not be able to log in through the browser after ULM has been installed. To check to see if the device has a system manager ID and password configured, log in to the machine from either the RUI or the control panel, using the administrator name and password. Press setting registration. Device settings. 
Management Settings User Management System Manager Information Settings Confirm that there is a System Manager ID and password in the fields. You don't want to leave it blank. After confirming or entering a System Manager ID and password, press OK, then press Close, to exit out. Open a web browser, and log in to the RUI of the device, using the administrator credentials. Under Management Tools, select Service Management Service, or SMS. Under System Management, select Enhanced System Application Management. Under Install Enhanced System Application License, click on Choose File for Enhanced System Application File Path. Browse to the folder where the jar and license file were extracted. Select the jar file, and press open. Press choose file for license file path. Select the license file, and press open. With install and start, or enable selected, press install. Press yes to install. The jar and license file will be installed, then the application will be started. The application has been installed, but not yet enabled. It requires the device to be restarted. You can see that user authentication will be stopped, and ULM will be started after restart. Select a portal, at the top of the page. Press Settings Registration. Click Restart Device. Click Perform Restart. Click OK, and allow the machine to reboot. After the device has restarted, the control panel will appear with a different interface. ULM must be activated to be used. Open a web browser, and access the RUI for the device. You will see the login interface has changed. Enter the name, administrator with a capital A. For the password, enter the system manager password. It used to be the word password, all lowercase, but it was changed recently. That is why you need to make sure that the system manager ID and password have been configured, before installing ULM. After successfully logging in, you will see a tab for Universal Login Manager has been added under Basic Tools. Click on the tab. ULM will try to activate over the internet. You will be prompt about sending information over the internet. Click on Send Anyways. Scroll down the page of the End User License Agreement. You can review the EULA, then check the box to agree to the terms, in the License Agreement. Once the box has been checked, click on Activate. Press Send Anyways to complete the activation. ULM is now installed. The control panel will display the administrator's image login. You can double-click on the administrator name, to view the properties of the administrator profile. You can add a new password for the administrator, to be different from the system manager ID password. Press Save, at the bottom of the page. You can install ULM using the LAN number, that was copied from the NTWare site. You will have to make sure that the device is accessed to the internet. It will download the JAR and license file from the CDS server. A user, or technician can install the LAN number, and the administrator can configure the device later. The LAN number can be installed from the control panel, or through the RUI. In this example, we will demonstrate installation through the RUI. Log in to the device through the RUI, using the administrator's credentials.
Press settings registration. Under Management Settings, select License Other. Click on Register Update Software. Using the LAN number that was copied to Notepad, enter the LAN number. You will have to enter the numbers, four digits at a time. When complete, press Next. It will check the LAN number is valid. Check the box for ULM, and press Start Installation. The JAR and license file will be downloaded from the CDS server. The speed of the download will be determined by the network speed. The files will be installed. After successful installation, click to distributed installation. The device will have to be restarted. Click on License Other. Click on Restart Device. Click Perform Restart. Press OK. The device will restart. When the device restarts, it will show that ULM will have to be activated. Open the web browser and log in to the RUI, using the administrator name, and the system manager pin. Select Universal Login Manager, under Basic Tools. Check the box to agree to the EULA, then press Activate. When the activation is complete, the administrator login will be displayed on the control panel. From the RUI, the screen will display the user screen. The administrator can start to add users from this screen. If the customer does not want to continue to use ULM, or wants to remove ULM before returning the device at the end of a lease, the administrator can uninstall ULM. This will remove any installed MEEP applications, as well as the database of user information on the device. There are a few steps in the uninstallation process to be done, to properly remove ULM. The steps are. Switch the login method from ULM. Disable the MEEP license. Delete the MEEP license. Uninstall the MEEP application. Log in to the device through the RUI, using the administrator login. Select Service Management Service, under Management Tools. Click on Enhanced System Application Management. You can see Universal Login Manager is showing Started, under Status. Click Switch, for User Authentication. The status will change from Installed, to Start after Restart. Click on to Portal, at the top of the page. Click Settings Registration. Click Restart Device. Click Perform Restart. Click OK. The device will restart. Wait a couple of minutes after the device restarts, to log back into the RUI. Log in to the device through the RUI, using the administrator login. Select Service Management Service, under Management Tools. Click on Enhanced System Application Management. You can see that ULM is listed as installed, and user authentication is listed as started, under status. Click on the Universal Login Manager name link. Scroll down the page to License Information. Click on License Management. To uninstall ULM, you have to disable the license associated to the application. Click Disable. Click Yes, to confirm that you want to disable the license file. You can download the license to reuse, if you are going to reinstall ULM. Since we are going to remove everything associated with ULM, we will click on Delete. Press Yes, 
To confirm deletion. Press back, to go to the previous screen. Press back again, to return to the Enhanced System Application Management screen. You can see the Uninstall button is now active. Click Uninstall, to uninstall the MEEP application. Press Yes, to confirm. The screen will return to the main page, and ULM will be removed. You can see that there is no ULM button in the RUI.